if I took a swim in a typical spent nuclear fuel <laughs> pool? Would I need to dive to actually experience a fatal amount of radiation? How strong of a swimmer are you? For the kinds of radiation coming off of spent nuclear fuel, every seven centimeters of water- It's gonna be alphas, betas, and gammas because it's spent. Water cuts the amount of radiation in half. This absorbs- in the sense of gamma radiation, yes. Hydrogen-rich materials such as water scatters photons well. Neutrons are a different story, but unless it's extremely fresh, spent fuel's not going to make too many of those. Absorption means that two meters away from the fuel, there is a billionth as much radiation as directly adjacent to it. And two meters farther away than that, there is a billionth again as much. Water is an excellent shield. That's why we put them in water. Great protection to dose, and it helps it cool off. It's gonna be at least seven meters of water above the fuel. Swimming to the bottom, touching your elbows to a fresh fuel canister, and then immediately swimming back up could be enough to kill you. If it's fresh fuel, absolutely. High gamma flux. Licensed divers don't go anywhere near the fuel assemblies. Yet outside the safe dose boundary, you could swim around as long as you wanted. Radiologically, yes. Operationally, absolutely not. It's an industrial radiological facility with crane rails, sharp metal edges, and trip hazards everywhere. Oh, and it's going to be heavily guarded. But your dose rate's going to be about background radiation. The dose from the rods would be less than the normal background dose of radiation you get from cosmic rays and stuff walking around. If there's corrosion in the spent fuel rod casings, there might be some fission products in the water. Spent fuel facilities generally do a pretty good job of keeping the water clean. Yes, there's an entire subsystem developed what, for uh, spent fuel pool cleanup infiltration. But it's radioactive enough that it wouldn't be legal to sell it as bottled water. It also has plenty of boric acid in there, which provides additional shutdown margin. Think of it as keeping you further away from starting up the reactor. Drinking it isn't necessarily going to harm you, but it's because your radiation protection officer will tackle you in seconds. We know spent fuel pools can be safe-ish to swim in because they're routinely serviced by human divers. Every However, these then. divers do have to be careful. On August 31st, 2010, a diver was servicing the spent fuel pool at the Leibstadt nuclear reactor in Switzerland. He spotted an unidentified length of tubing at the bottom of the pool and asked his supervisor what to do. He was told to put it in his tool basket. If they worked for me, I would have fired both of them. You do not put in things that you're not sure what they are, especially in a radiological environment. Which he did. Due to bubble noise in the pool, he didn't hear his radiation alarm. The object turned out to be a piece of protective tubing from a radiation monitor in the reactor core. Made he would have gotten a lot of dose to his hand. Highly radioactive. As it was, the water protected him. And only his hand, which is a body part more resistant to radiation than the delicate internal organs, received a heavy dose. So as far as swimming safety goes, the bottom line is that you'd probably be okay as long as you didn't dive to the bottom or pick up anything strange or drink too much of the water. I mean, spent fuel pools are engineered radiation shields, so workers can stand next to them all day without exceeding any dose.